I'd like to give the floor to Mr. Dutton because he didn't ask a question this morning. <laughs> Brilliant move to move Zeno up, right? In the we won a game. <laughs> hey, how about Chris Young? Just you know, I was trying to find the adjectives to describe this guy today. But, I mean, what a godsend for this rotation. I mean, he's just been tremendous. Um, in and out, up and down. Uh, never wavers. He knows what he wants to do, and he executes it pretty good. Did he hit the wall there in the seventh? I mean, he's around 100 pitches. It's... Yeah, I'm not sure if he hit a wall. I was just very comfortable with the matchups I had uh, at that point in the bullpen. And uh, if we needed to push him, I'm sure he could have pitched a little bit more. Given his health in the past, you guys didn't probably know for sure what you were getting. I mean, what, what were your kind of expectations about Young coming into this? You know, I really, that's a great question. I really didn't know what to expect. You know, last, I think he pitched the last day of spring training, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember right. And I just said, this is unbelievable. And he continues to make me say, this is unbelievable. You know, so um, expectations, I really didn't have any. If I did, I would say they certainly far exceeded them. Uh, you know, considering he didn't have much spring training, he's coming off surgery. Got a couple breaks early offensively and able to cash him, which hasn't always been the case. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, you'd rather be luckier than good sometimes in this game. And certainly in that first inning, we're very fortunate you know, to get those two hits and then have Robbie come up uh, in that situation. So sometimes that works for the best. Was, was Saunders on his own bunting there? Yes. Talk about the top of the order and they're just continually getting it done for you guys. We're good today. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, you guys did a nice job. You know, you know, you never feel good about putting three lefties back to back to back against a left handed pitcher, but uh, we thought we could be successful and we were. Well, I don't know. All you hear is Robbie's struggling. And, you know, he's probably leading the league in hitting, and he's got 30 plus RBI. So I, I don't know. He's doing pretty good. He's still on bases there in the second. I mean, he's looking to be aggressive. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we thought it was a situation where we could take advantage of, and we did. You've said in the, in the past 50 games was kind of a point here you can kind of do your an evaluation of your, of your team. From, from that standpoint, uh, what are your thoughts on, on today was the 50th game? I like my team. I like where we are. And, and I said before, is there room for improvement? Of course there is. Um, but that's a gut, gutsy bunch out there. Uh, they show up every day. Uh, and it's nice to look in their eyes and know that they're not afraid of the opponent. Uh, they go about their business in the right way. Uh, and I said this when I interviewed. I wanted them to take on my personality, and I think they have. They're a pretty tough bunch. How much have you learned about Saunders here in the last couple of weeks? You know, Michael's an interesting guy. You know, I have to pick and choose my spots to make sure uh, that we rest him. Um, and I'm sure he doesn't like it from time to time, but... We'll continue to do that. I think if he's rested, he's a pretty darn good ball player. But when he fatigues a little bit, you probably need to get him out of there and give him a day or two. No, it was not that at all. I was probably more uh, ticked off at myself for not having them prepared properly. So, um, and that happens, you know. Uh, yesterday's uh, game is on me, not my players. And uh, today they were a little bit better prepared. You, to follow up on the 50 uh, game question. Um, it comes up a lot. You, you, you've admitted you, you like to have another bat. But your, your pitching should be getting a little bit better here going forward, too, shouldn't it? And, and it's been a strength through 50 games. Yeah, our pitching is our foundation. We need to catch the ball. And this is something that we talked about throughout the spring. Um, if we caught the ball and executed on defense and then give them extra outs, we'd be a very competitive club. Uh, 
And I, I think you've seen it instances this year where there's been four or five games where we didn't catch the ball. And as a result, we lost those games. So um, I, I learned a long time ago, you're never as good as you think you are. You're never as bad as you think you are. You're probably somewhere in the middle and uh, 50 games, we're somewhere in the middle. I, I like where we are. About that pitching, before the game, you didn't know anything much about Paxton. You're still going to be evaluating. Do you know anything more? Not yet. To no. I do not, and I apologize for that, but I did not get a chance to uh, speak with the trainer. You like where you are. What does it take to take that next step forward in the next 50 games? Keep winning. <laughs> I mean, you know, we need to improve our record at home. Um, this is our house, and we need to protect it. We haven't done as good a job as we should have at home. Um, and I think we'll get better. I think the guys are starting to get comfortable. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Um, so we, we protect our home turf and we're a little bit over 500 on the road. We'll be okay.